So, you think you've got what it takes? They call us Apex Legends. But not all legends are heroes. Remarkable. Each fight for their own reasons. I knew your every move. Shoot already. From the ashes of war, legends are born. They're icons of strength and power. Time to win. Outside the ring, they're champions. Yes, with me. Inside, they're equals. But the goal remains the same. We got it. Become an apex legend. Fight strong. They say it's a sport of survival. You ask me. It's simple, eh? They kill you. They're better. You kill them. You're better. Yo, what is up, guys? Lucky here, and today we're gonna talk about a couple reasons why I do believe that Bliss is coming to Apex Legends. And now, before anybody comments, yes, I know he was leaked a very long time ago as a future character, but so were a lot of other legends that we've gotten. So, it's going to be quite a while till we get Blisk, but I find it very odd that they haven't mentioned Blisk in a while. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on screen a picture that does indicate that there is some suspense around Blisk. Alright guys, so the original uh, opening pretty much for Apex, Blisk is pretty much talking about the Apex games which he created and he's talking about the Apex Predators now. There's a Hollow Day teaser that does say he's unbelievable and it's Apex Games Commissioner Cuban Blisk. Now, the Season 4 loading screen does say I'm probably going to have a place a few beds at the Thunderdome to afford my next visit. Cuban all the way now what does this mean is he coming to world's edge or will he be making a visit to Kings Canyon now for the Revenant teaser it's kind of interesting and I know it's a little hard to read but it does say what about the other guy from the qualifiers who came in second place behind McCormick Newcastle the rules say he's next in line find a loophole I find at least three before breakfast every morning and the commissioner, aka Cuban. Please, nobody's heard from the man in a year. He could be dead for all we know. Any other excuses? Fine. Consider it done. Now. So, it's pretty much well known that Cuban is the commissioner. He is the big dog in the Apex games. He is the creator. But why has he disappeared? What is Cuban Bliss up to? And I can assure you, it's probably nothing good. Because if we take a look at his pretty much uh, story as an Apex character, he's a South African mercenary pilot who served in the IMC forces as a ranking commander a con and contracted mercenary. He is the leader of the Apex Predators, an infamous outfit of ruthless freelance pilots now if you guys don't know the IMC is bad and he was a commander for the IMC so this does link him to Bangalore as Bangalore did serve for the IMC she was not a good guy so it does kind of raise uh, my eyebrow a bit when is he coming and when can we expect him and what will his abilities be? Now I'm going to go ahead and read you guys his leaked abilities. This was in season 2 so whenever he does come out this is for sure to change. But the abilities that we did know are as follow. Passive interrogation. Executing an enemy will reveal the location of their allies for 10 seconds. That right there is absolutely a powerful passive and that's a squad wipe. that's a squad wipe right there now tactical throwing knife deals 20 damage and marks target killing a marked target rewards double credits 
this is kind of similar to Revenant, how when he throws that little, uh, the mark for death thing, it, you know, kind of takes away your abilities and it does mark you where you're at. So it's kind of similar. But now his ultimate is called Payday. Squad kills award credits. Spend credits on powerful supplies. This could be a care package. Maybe he's able to call in his own care package. But now, like I said before, this is all extremely old stuff. This is stuff back from season two. And honestly, if it is true, it would make Lifeline even more useless. So I'm sure all of these will change. But when do you guys think we're getting Blisk? Because... If you guys look into his backstory and all of the credit scenes, he is a major role character in Titanfall 2 and 1. He does have a lot to do with the story. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Do you guys think Blisk is coming? Or do you guys think that he's going to host some kind of limited time mode and be a role character for roles or maybe he's even going to be an announcer for the apex games in the future as he did create them it's your boy lucky let me know in the comment section what do you guys think what are your opinions hope you're having a blessed day and an awesome weekend leave a comment like subscribe hit the notification bell if you like the video of course peace